Okay, so we have the pancake man. We start here at the heart. Um, the left ventricle push out here to the ascending aorta. Ascending aorta will have the coronaries, which will serve the heart. And then you have the, right, the brachiocephalic trunk, which will have the right common carotid and the right subclavian. The left subclavian and the left common carotid each have their own direct connections to the aorta. Um, if you follow the subclavian down, you'll have the axillary, which will be right here, and then the brachial artery, which comes down and splits off to the radial and the ulnar arteries. Um, coming back down uh, to the inferior or descending aorta, we have the celiac trunk, uh, which will have connections to the, hep the hepatic artery and then the splenic artery. Right below that, we have the superior mesenteric artery and the inferior mesenteric artery. Uh, between them, you'll have, they're not shown, but the gonadal arteries too. And then you have the renal arteries here that serve the kidneys. You have the common iliac, iliacs, uh, interior iliac and the exterior iliacs, which comes down. And you can't see it, but it's cut off. So the femoral artery will come down this way. Um, down, this will be the popliteal right here, and then the anterior tibialis artery and the posterior tibialis. Down here we have the dorsalis pedis artery, and then the arcuate artery down here. So that does it for the arteries, now for the veins, we have the arcuate vein right here, and the dorsalis pedis vein. We have this really long uh, saphenous vein right here. And then this one doesn't have it, but the femoral vein is cut off right here, but it should go down the middle. Then you have the common, uh, or sorry, external iliac, internal iliac, common iliacs. And then the inferior vena cava is this big guy right here. So you can see the renal veins right here, hepatic veins right here. There's a gastric and a splenic over here. And then... Um, over to the arms, we have the cephalic vein, which is on the outside here, and then the basilic, which will be on the inside, okay? Then they'll join over to here. So this will be the axillary, this will be the brachial vein, uh, and again, cephalic and basilic. And then come here to the right, subclavian, empty into the superior vena cava, um, and into the, the right atrium. Uh, over here, we have the external jugular. Um, we have the facial vein right here, and then the external temporal vein as well. And that should do it.